So just before I started this video, just before I came here to record this video, I was interviewing a candidate. She is from uh, a reputed college in Bangalore and she came all the way to uh, give interview for a research position in one of our clients company. And I asked her a few questions and even though she was a good candidate, fresher, but she was not able to answer most of them. And even if she an answered, she got rejected. So I'm here today right now to tell you what exactly we are looking for when we are interviewing you. So like I interview for I think more than 500 biotech companies now and all of them, uh, they have different set of instructions for me. But definitely uh, I can give you a glimpse of what exactly is going on in our mind when I'm asking you questions. So main, uh, one of my favorite questions is why biotech? Why did you do a biotech degree? Now, most of the candidates will start saying that, you know, I did uh, a NEET and I failed, so I had no option, so I did a biotech. You know, the, re the real reason why we are asking you this question is not because why did you choose it? Instead, we want to know what actually motivates you to be in biotech in the future. Okay, what you did, it's okay. But we want to know why, what mo will motivate you to be in the biotech sector in the future. Because many people, after getting in, they start looking out. So that is where, why biotech, you, you should actually say that you were fascinated with the science fiction things and then you can always say that okay uh, biotech has a truly global impact when we saw that during the covid and then you can also say that it is very challenging field and it requires a lot of collaboration and i, I uh, love collaboration stuff like that so you, you have to show the positive aspects instead of just saying that hey i failed my neat exam so i had no option so i you know went ahead and uh, you know, took biotech. Don't do that. Okay, that's bad. The next one uh, we always ask you, you in the interviews is tell me about yourself or tell me about your profile. And what candidates do is they will rehearse this question and they'll come to us and say, so my name is this, 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 and I have done this, 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 right? And basically what you're doing is you are reciting your resume that what's your degree, what's your internship, what's your project, what's your you know, experience or no experience or what's a hands-on, where did you do your college, all that stuff. And then you will talk about your parents. Hey, we don't want that, right? Tell me about yourself should be, okay, you, you can get personal, but not too personal, okay? You have to highlight your uh, strength, you have to highlight your experience, but don't talk about personal life, okay? Like, uh, where do you stay and all? And then, of course, this question is all about making connection. Generally, this is the first question we ask in the interview. So it is all about making a connection, right? So you can always talk about, okay, uh, something which is related to the mission and vision of the company. And you can, you know, somewhere, somewhere relate this. Like I was really motivated to do biotech. So I am to here and uh, I, have, I have been really fascinated with the mission and vision which your company has. So all that stuff you can always talk. And then, of course, you can always talk about the career journey. Like um, so I, I chose my bachelor's in this and then I was truly motivated by this particular subject. So I chose to further pursue my higher degree in this. So this is where you and then you can say that why exactly you did your internship. Why exactly? Do you, so these are the things you can. So you you have to talk about yourself, not your degree per se. Okay. When we ask students, uh, okay, explain about your research experience. They'll they'll smile and say, I don't have any. Will you have? Okay. So you must have done some project during your bachelor, some uh, some kind of internship during your master, some kind of hands on, some kind of paper publication, something you must have done. Talk about that, right? So you can talk about the accomplishments. You can talk about the skill set which you achieved during those you know projects and you can also demonstrate your creativity like uh, how did you solve a problem so what challenges you faced and that's what um, you have to talk about next question we generally ask is how do you keep yourself updated with the biotech sector now most of the students will say that okay i read some research paper or research journals but truly speaking this is not how you have to so you have to mention some websites and you have to have the right mix of indian as well as uh, us website so if you just Keep talking about I refer all these US websites. The uh, you know Indian interviewer might, might feel that you are a snob. So you can always say that I have joined some LinkedIn industry groups. I I read uh, and lot, do a lot of research on these websites. You can also men mention Biotechnica, and you can also say that I am active on various social media and have joined relevant groups where I get all these updates. Right. So this is very important. Next one, which we always ask is, uh, tell me one challenging project which you have done and what were the challenges you faced and how did you solve it? 
right so most of the students fumble here they will be like most of the job seekers they will be like uh, yeah so i did this project on crispr so project guide told me this and so i had to do this and i faced this problem i solved it but see we really want to see through your brain we want to understand did you really do it okay and if you did then what were the real challenges faced so you have to be very honest what challenges you faced whether it was communication whether it was collaboration whether it was you know lack of chemicals whatever was the challenge real challenge just talk about it and say how did you solve it but yeah you have to remember this don't bad mouth the place where you worked that's not something we want to know we want to know what real challenges you faced and how did you solve it okay the next questions which we ask is how do you handle failure and setbacks right so people will be like uh, so i was writing this exam and i failed so i was crying and my uh, mentor guy did stuff you know people make stories see you have to simply simplify this question into three steps you have to talk about the problem like okay uh, so i was weak in biochemistry suppose you are a fresher you can always talk about uh, okay or maybe you did an experiment in which failed so you can talk about so first we identified the problem and then we uh, discussed with our mentor we uh, understood the mistakes and if it was a mistake by me i um, you know owned up the mistake i took the responsibility and then uh, we worked overnight or whatever and uh, we uh, you know you basically have to show resilience here you have to show that you are a responsible person and you take ownership of the mistakes and you solve it right so that is wh what this question means it doesn't mean that you just make up a story and tell and uh, because you will be caught if you just make up a story next question uh, which generally we ask is you know like what are your views on ethical considerations in biotech so majority of the students or job seekers will start answering it in their own way, you know various other ways but what i have seen you know, what answer we are expecting from you is you have to say that uh, ethical concerns will always be there but science must not stop we should keep pursuing science we must keep doing research under the ages under the guidelines provided by department of uh, biotechnology by government of india stuff like that you can always say and that's exactly how you have to answer these questions so these are very basic questions which we ask we ask a lot of advanced questions also so yeah uh, these uh, things you have to keep in mind that before you sit in the interview have tangible research experience whether it is a certification whether it is an internship whether it is a hands on whether it is a virtual experience also you have to have tangible experience so that you know the theory you know the practical you know the data interpretation part and you have to have the skin in the game otherwise you will be caught and that is where majority of the students get rejected and once they are rejected they are told that please don't apply for the next 6 months that's the truth and then you are like okay for 6 months what should i do so instead what i can suggest you is prepare yourself for the interview you know getting selected in a job itself is a an art and once you have nailed that art nobody can stop you from getting your dream job so let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or comments and i would see you in the next one till then keep shining bye bye Thank you.